round two. <laughs> Me and Amy, we made a little video and then it said corrupted, so we've got to do it again. Oh, yes. And you're the beautiful Amy's with me, aren't you, Amy? Oh, yes. Hello, beautiful Karen. Beautiful Amy. <laughs> mm. Anyway, what it was is I was telling Amy, she hasn't seen it. I can send you the link, Amy. But um, okay. Lisa, uh, she likes to sort of protest by drawing things on the pavement with crayons. Uh, chalk, rather. <laughs> But she also does some very good drawings. And the other day, she was drawing on the pavement and she says, a lady who happened to be Professor John Sell's nurse, a free energy inventor, saw me drawing him the other day and took this video. <clears throat> it was an anti-gravity invention. So I, 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 I like it because we, we, in our first video, talking about the fact that our freedom of speech has basically been taken away. We've got it between us, but uh, any public forum we put it on, they're just wiping it all off. Oh, I know. Yeah, but it's good yeah. that people put their little, I like it when, um, I'd never heard of him before, have you, Amy? No, I haven't. Yeah, I've never heard of him before, but we might. Yeah. Well, should we put the little video on and then just look a little bit up about John Searle? Yeah. Let's do that because I think the lady okay. says in here and we can hear it and then we can make a little video about it. Let's do that then. Let's play the little okay. video that Lisa's when she was drawing and the lady who knows John Searle took this video. Yes, Amy? Okay, Karen. <laughs> Prof. Searle, who I do know, Professor John Searle of Street Glastonbury, inventor of free energy, invented the um, anti-gravity machine back in 1945, yes. Hmm? Yeah, yes it was. Me and Amy have just been listening to a little bit of video about him. It was made a few years ago. Um, I'll show you the channel in a minute. Um, but I just put some pictures up. So there he is. And this is the machine that he made. And I was just saying to Amy, I thought a different person made this, but it's his. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, I've got a few pictures because there he is. He's obviously in his 90s now. I don't, it doesn't say he's died, so he must be alive. Anyway, yeah. this person made this film and that's the beginning of their uh, video. But anyway, we're just going to talk for a minute or two because um, it's a bit sad, isn't it? They said in this video, which we might play that bit, that he's deaf. Oh, I know. So they say, the guy's saying because he was deaf, he wasn't educated like everyone else. He was in his own mind, his own world, and he was able to come up with these things because he wasn't following anybody else's way. He was following his own. Great. That's quite incredible. Well, he is. Well, he's obviously a very clever man. Yes. Um, yes, he is. Yeah. Did you see the little video about the machine he made, Amy? No, but I was reading about it. Yeah, basically the, they're all magnetised and the magnets go round and round and then it creates this energy. But anyway, he's just talking here, so let's just hear a bit about what he says. Okay. Up this planet is going to be a big job. If we're going to get the climate back to what we want, a lot of work got to be done. But one thing is certain, you need energy. That's important. Without John, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be the man I am today. John changed my entire life. Turned it around completely. The man is the most honest, sincere uh, friend that you could ever hope to have. He has tremendous stamina and has a uh, 
almost an unheard of ability to go without sleep. Uh, he operates on between, I think, three and four hours uh, max. For 40 years, I have been searching to find the clue to the cell effect. But what it did for my mind, it stimulated, it motivated it, and turned my whole life upside down. I've met Professor Searle and his associates. Uh, they're nice people. Clearly, they believe in the SEG and the, the effects that they're talking about. Basically, the design is a, a conventional generator. So, according to so, tapped into zero point energy without knowing how he did it. Here we had something we couldn't understand. It wasn't doing what I wanted. That's what a generator I wanted. The only person that I know of who has ever succeeded in making a serial effect generator, which it was named by someone else, uh, given that name by someone else. But the only person I ever know who had ever made one is John Cyril. The, the problem is uh, the people, they want to, uh, to see the disc fly. I think uh, 69 to 71. The German TV uh, sent a, a report in color and there was shown a, a flyable disc. It was hovering in the, the top of the trees, I think 25 meters. The electron flow is accelerated to an extremely high rate and it creates a vacuum around the device. And in that vacuum, you develop numbing cold. And numbing cold, as we know today, is a function of superconductivity. Well, that's explained rather a lot, hasn't it, Amy? Because the is Karen. <laughs> in the diagram, there is a vacuum and everything <laughs> is exposed. <laughs> so yes. that is what would happen to them. <laughs> right. So, no space, no <laughs> astronauts. <laughs> That's right. Oh my god, if you can see it in this diagram for this machine. <laughs> right, we're just going to show you what it does again in case you missed it. He's explaining here about the vacuum and here it goes, it's expanding and expanding and expand. I know this has got magnets in, but this would still happen to the astronauts. They'd expand and explode. <laughs> right. This is what happens in a vacuum. This yeah. is what, I know the magnets are doing it, but that is what's <laughs> happening. Go back and play it one more time. But I'm playing it at half speed, so let's go on a little bit. We've gone too far now. Hang on, I've got to find it. So anyway, this is the channel who put this whole video out. Inventor of the Searl Effect Generator, a free energy device. Latings is his name. Here we go. Now just imagine an astronaut. And then they're gonna start expanding. <laughs> Eerie yeah. ridiculous. I mean, it's like a marshmallow expanding. Ooh, imagine that. Anyway, yeah. you can see for yourself, this is what would happen if you were put in a vacuum. Right. Anyway, we'll go on now, Amy. Okay, care. This thing wanted to fly. For over 60 years, John Searle has tried to give to the world a new kind of energy system, one that would free mankind from the burdens of oil and fossil fuels. From his dreams as a child in pre-World War II England came an understanding of mathematics and magnetic forces that would change his life. From a childhood game of hopscotch came a new understanding of magic squares a mathematical principle that is 5,000 years old. John Searle is deaf. His deafness is the result of beatings and neglect suffered as a child. But the isolation would serve his purpose. Perhaps this physical limitation accounts for his freedom of thinking. He could think laterally and not be bound by conventional rules taught through conventional methods that may have an adverse effect on the human mind. In his quiet universe, his experience would have a different effect, an unusual effect, a natural effect. 
the Searle effect. On his own, and without any real formal education, John Searle is possessed by an insatiable curiosity that would lead him to conclude that nothing is impossible except that which the state of your mind makes it so. Well, that was very interesting, wasn't it, Amy? Oh, yes, it was, Karen. Have you, did you, have you seen it, how this thing expands? Yeah, I was looking. I didn't know that he was the... I thought it was someone else that made the sort of hovering spaceship. But Yes. You know, again, it was free energy. I know. Eh? I don't understand how they don't understand about the astronauts. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. That's... <laughs> That means that we could sort of use that and we could go up in the air, we, we could fly in the air. Yeah. I thought, when I was little, I thought that's how cars would go, that we'd be able to sort of have little mini, like, car aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's very interesting. I've never heard of him before, so I hope that if you haven't yeah. heard of him before, that you find this interesting and thank you very much to this channel i don't know if it's it's uh latings that has made this video or he's copied it he's copied bits but it's just very interesting to learn a bit more information about john oh, Searle. Yeah. and it yes. started all off with a chalk drawing on a pavement oh, that's right yeah. see she's educating people with their yeah. drawings yeah because now we're telling you about john Searle. Yes. The uh, effect generator, a free energy device. Ooh. Yes. But any, Amy, thank you so much for helping me do this little video. Did you find oh, that you're... interesting? Yes, it's very interesting. I really learned something. Yeah. yeah there's no yeah. astronauts. That's right. <laughs> anyway, Amy, <laughs> thank you so much for helping me make this little video. Oh, you're welcome, Karen. John Searle is known all over the world as the inventor of the Searle Effect Generator, a magnetic device consisting of one or more rings, also called plates, and a number of cylindrical rollers that, when in motion, generate electricity. The generator is a magnetic device that is uh, totally magnetic. It is its own prime mover. It will self-start and continue to run, and as far as we know, we can say never stop. The Searle effect is an effect based on magnetic fields that generate the continual motion of magnetized rollers around magnetized rings producing electric energy. The generator runs in harmony with nature. The law of the squares is harmony with nature. But the Searle effect is a great deal more than a simple generator. In our polluted and energy-starved world, it is the hope of all mankind that we find the solutions that lead us to both prosperity and harmony with nature. Is it possible to maintain mankind's industrial output?